Yeah. Yo, guys, this is my brother from another mother. I met him a couple years ago when I first came into the gym. Oh, man. Another exercise I never do. This was the first guy that I met. Tell him, tell him the story. Me? He started to teach me all the basics of weightlifting. Keep him a thumbs up because it's more forward. See the difference? The elbows comes a lot more. Down in line. When he's doing the pull-ups, his legs are straight, right? The reason being because that gives him a, a more balanced pull through the body, like you're going through the floor. Good. Keep that tight. Now look up. Easy. It's effortless because there's control. But when there's no control, you can injure yourself. Oxygen into the blood. The muscles start to get pumped. You start feeling the flex, you're getting more control. And not even just that, you could keep adding weight. So that stresses the muscle. That, that's how you grow. If you're I'm not doing stressing it, right? it, yeah, you're perfect. Just keep looking straight ahead. So if you're not stressing it, there's no pressure, there's no change. Grind don't ever stop, man. Work out, work out forever. I've been working out for hours. We do this for hours. Y'all know that song, for hours. Yo, shout out to my brother right here, man. My brother from another mother. Jesse in the building. Don't kill them. Feel me? Jesse, let me know your page, bro. Instagram, whatever you right, They can so follow, they can find you at, bro. So my Instagram is the official underscore King Fitness. Uh, name is Jesse, I'm 29. Uh, I've been doing personal training, uh, calisthenics, workout movements for like probably 15 years. Um, so the reason why I do it is more so for peace of mind, balance, discipline, and once you're in control of your own body, you're in control of everything else in your life. Because it takes discipline to take a good physique. And this is why when people see you, and if you have a good physique, they'll respect you. Because they know it takes a lot of work. So if you're willing to be that disciplined within your personal life, it's, it goes going out with like relationship, food, sleep, work, money, everything that's going into them. Alright, let's get it. Yo guys, this is my brother from another mother. I met him a couple years ago when I first came into the gym in my beginner stages of learning to wanting to get my body being healthy and fit or whatever may have you be. This was the first guy that I met. Tell him, tell him the story. <laughs> I came into the gym and a lot of people, look around. A lot of people in the gym is dead. They're sleeping, they're quiet. They look like they don't know what they're doing. This this what you was doing? That's what I'm doing right now, yeah. See? <laughs> this guy was doing this shit right here. Like, what the hell is that, bro? You know what I'm saying? So I see him doing some crazy shit. Let boom, bop, boom. I'm like, damn, this guy, he must know what he's doing because like, he keeps slamming the shit. Yo, bro, I go to him, ask him, yo, bro, what are you doing? You know what I mean? Why are you doing this? And then he starts to teach me all the basics of weightlifting. Bench pressing, deadlifting, uh, squats. Squats, what else? Pull-ups. Pull-ups. Pull the first thing was pull-ups because... Bro, so he got me into pull-ups because I, I never used to do no, none of that shit. A lot of people underestimate pull-ups. I start with it and I end with it. The reason being How much pull-ups would you do? Per day? No, no, like if you, when you start. Like start, to warm so up your body. How between much you 12, 10 to 12 reps. Four sets. Four to five sets. I start the same way and I end the same way. So if I, if I end it, whatever session I'm doing, whether it's legs, back, chest, I end with 10 to 12 reps, four to five sets of hypertrophy. Yeah, the reason being is because pull-ups is one exercise that really gets you warmed up. It gets more blood into, into the muscles, um, it, it targets the core, and it creates some core stability and chunk. Come through, while, while, while I'm doing the pull-ups, because you did the 12 pull-ups, right? I did my set, yeah. So I didn't do my 12, guys. While I'm doing my 12, explain to them why. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, over there. Explain to them what muscle groups is here and why, so that, you know what I mean? King Fitness here, man. So, bro, so, am I doing good? Is this good? Yeah, it's good. So, if you realize, right, once, when he's doing the pull-ups, his legs are straight, right? The reason being because that gives him a, a more balanced pull. So, he's going through his body. He's not overcompensating over with the shoulders or just the core. He's using his entire body weight going through in a, in a full pull. No, once you're doing that, you could either go under the bar or over the bar because you're in ba your balance. Under, under the bar right here. Right, but if he, if, he, if he was supposed to open his legs, you 
see a difference. The weight changes. Exactly. It changes. It's no, it's no, it's no wider. It's a wider yeah. pull. But you want to make, maintain some sort of structure going up and coming back down. If you're adding movement to it, that's I would tell you that's more of an advanced pull up. But I would say if you're starting off with your exercises, you'll start off with on the floor, knee pull ups. From the floor coming up. There's no barriers, I couldn't do it, but it's basically being leg straight out, pulling through. So that's that gets the core, the core engaged, the last engaged. Come right here, come right here, come right here. it to adding weights in between your legs whichever way you prefer but I would advise anybody that's starting to work out work out if you want to lose weight the best way to do it is start off with doing some sort of pull-ups because pull-ups is maintaining your you're in control of your own body I always tell people this right if you go in the gym you take up a 50 pound dumbbell you've never been in the gym before well you weigh 150 pounds and you can't even you can't even control your own body weight what's the sense of picking up 50 pounds there's no sense. You can't even do 50 push-ups. Exactly. <laughs> you can't control your own body weight. So if you want to master the gym, master your own structure first. That's Keys. the foundation. So once you're in control of this, everything else in the gym is an additive. You don't necessarily need the gym because you're in control. The gym just enhances the physique, enhances the muscle structure, enhances the strength, enhances just you being a better person. So Big facts. Now I can come to the gym and do some weighted pull-ups. Some weighted muscle ups, some weighted dips, cause I don't got those weights at home. What else we got? We got, we got, take a bad day for him. Yeah, so, so he did pull ups, what else? Pull ups, um, regular deadlifts. So I'm heading into some uh, barbell rows right now. Yo, I hate deadlifts, bro. <laughs> I hate deadlifts. Why do you deadlift, bro? So, what do you the reason why I deadlift, why you deadlift is because bro? a lot of people don't shit. understand that deadlift is actually what, it's the one exercise that you're working every single muscle group at the same time. But what about right. squat? Squat, squat. Yeah, remember, it's, it's overhead, right? Yeah. You're using some core, mm -hmm. but there's no biceps really involved, there's no chest really involved. But this targets every single muscle. Watch the movement. All right, go ahead, go ahead. So, when you're doing a deadlift, you want to be centered in the What's this, 315? Yeah. 315, guys. All right, come on, guys. Yeah. Throwing it, throwing it, like it's easy. One of the exercises that you rarely, you never see me do. You know what? For the men, I'll do the same. Let me see the belt. If if you want to get <laughs> stronger, <laughs> please your woman a lot better. I advise you do deadlifts, <laughs> squats, and best bench press. Don't just go in the hey, gym and flex bro, arms. The reason yeah. being is because a strong Every foundation is better. It's way better because you're able to control your body, you're able to control yourself while it's dealing with whatever. You feel me? What do you think? What do you but think, like the if there's no foundation, what happens huh? to a building with no foundation? It's going to crumble. It's going to fall, whichever way you put it. Rainfall is going to crumble. But for a strong foundation, you're able to control everything. You have more, you have more stamina. <coughs> Watch this. Now, when he goes into the bed, let's pay attention to the quads, the hamstrings, the core. Hey, you gonna make me start off so heavy like the this? Trip, man. The trip. Watch. You yes, no, no, start off so good. heavy like that. He thinks I'm strong. No. The first thing you want to do is stand up. You want to go into the core, so you want to hold everything in. So me, I have a certain way I start off. I normally praise the most high, squeeze the core tight, and I go down into the lift. 
I never just go down. Like I'm cool the core and I'm, then I'm done. Ah, uh, cross yeah. So I, I was going into relax. Right. I didn't even think you, about you it. You can't do that. So press through the body like you're going through the floor. Good. Keep that tight. Now look up. Easy. It's effortless because there's control. But when there's no control, you can injure yourself. Hey, it's, it's still. <laughs> All right, I can so understand. Was, yeah. so I can easy, understand. Right? I can, it, um, it was easy because I breathed, and the advice that you gave me, I didn't have to focus on um, um, contracting my core after I have the weight. So it is a lot safer because that way you can collapse the insides of your um, your 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 insides, your breathing, your heart, your heart, lungs. your lungs, your, your organs by not um, safely contracting. So I, I, I sense the connection and I feel exactly. it. Because as exactly. I went down normally, not because I don't do this regularly, so I don't know to contract before even, before even engaging. I just went down normally, and then I would have had to contract to get up at the same time while lifting. You know what I mean? So it's two different actions. So yeah, it's listen. two different actions. So it's good, it's better to do it in two different actions than in one. Because if I went down relaxed and grabbed up and went up, I would have had to put them both together at one time. Right. Which is not, which right. is not safe. Which is why I hate deadlifting. So, if I can understand that connection, you can be more safe with it. Ah, you know what's crazy? Safe with the things that we hate in life is the things that always comes back around. And we gotta face it. So, with that being said, he says he hates it. But if he was supposed to do this exercise more often, he would be a lot bigger. Them girls that he'd be falling off with, he could definitely hold them up. You get what? Because he has more trunk stability. There's more foundation. So, remember, guys, like, Start off with first control. If there's no control, there's the movement is effortless. You're, you're doing nothing. But when there's control, there's a focused mindset, go for it. Go for it. Don't hesitate, but remember, you always need to have that focused mindset. Control. Don't just move into something and then boom, there's no there's no reason for you doing it. You're just lifting because you're angry or you're just lifting because you want to impress someone else or ego lifting. That doesn't do anything for you. Maintain a certain control with every single movement. It's like, it's like a yoga. Workout is like yoga. You have to have some sort of balance within yourself. This a picture the movement yeah. in a correct form and then articulate that movement in your mind. See yourself doing it and go for it. And master that, and you're no, gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. No doubt. Sheesh. This guy is crazy, man. My way of going into it. Always both sides. You know what I'm saying? Feet off close. Well, I was supposed to. I ain't know I was supposed to do that. <laughs> I was supposed to go like that and shit. I take your life, you just control. I'm breathing. Yeah. You save consistency from start to finish. That's what you want to do with every single move, every other. Like, like I said, guys, it's the same mindset with your life. Consistency, doesn't matter if it's hard. Do it. That's Try it. Do it every day. Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even lock it in. No, so step away. Step away. Re reset yourself. Don't want to eat yourself. Of course. That's another thing too. A lot of times, we approach an exercise or something in our lives, and there's no confidence or trust within ourselves that we're gonna achieve it. If you're gonna do something, go with the mindset of yo, do or die. Like whatever happens, happens. But I believe I could do it. It's possible. Keep going. Keep going. Keep trying. Keep trying. Even if you fail, get up. Do it again. That's because a fact. The fact that he he made an approach. The first approach was he was gonna mess up. I'll tell you that. But I said to him, no, step away, go back, then go reapproach it. Confidence. Easy. What, what else no we got besides deadlift? All right, so we're gonna do some uh, dumbbell rows. Dumbbell rows, guys. Sheesh. We're on the dumbbells now. Start off 
the 60s. <laughs> no, like, no, 60s is too light. So it's what? <laughs> you said 60, we ain't got 70. So I like to be Sorry, center. Oh man. Another exercise I never do. <laughs> but this is for your back, right? Yep, lats. Your lats. This is the lat for anyone who don't know what the lat is. <laughs> How many reps are sets? Uh, so we're doing like three sets. Three sets. Three sets. Uh, ten to twelve reps. That's a hypertrophy. Set. Hypertrophy. Yeah. Working set. Why is that a working set? Because that's when the, you start getting oxygen into the blood. The muscle starts to get pumped. You start feeling the flex. You gain more control. And not even just that. You could keep adding weight. So that stresses the muscle. That that's how you grow. If you're I'm not doing stressing it, right? it, yeah, you're perfect. Just keep looking straight ahead. So if you're not stressing it. Pressure, there is no change. But if it is, the movement is consistent and the weight is the same, you're just moving the same weight. There is no growth. There's no stress to the body. The body needs stress in order for it to go to a different stage, so you could grow. So every set we're gonna increase the weight and keep the same reps. Showing a little bit too high. Right here, there you go. Let's see if you look. Come right here. Keep going. Keep going. So he's working down. Working coming up, working down, working coming up. So I'm saying? All right, next week. I don't know, man. I'm learning. What a better way to start off with the guy that put me on to weights in the beginning, right? I just got lost through this catastatic journey. But why not see what happens if you start touching some plates, huh? Eat some food, huh? What happens? What's going to happen? Even more demons. How could that happen? Oh, cool. The person is cool. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Good. I'm like, wow. So, like I said, control, control, movement. Like, yo, a lot of people will find bodybuilding like boring. It's just movements. But you have to be a certain type of person. <laughs> in order for you to really keep going every single day. Because like I said, it's the same movement, but you want to add more weight, increase the pressure, get up with the mindset like, look, I'm going to do a little bit more than yesterday or last week. And preferably me, when I'm working, I'm not talking. I'm locked in. And a lot of people would mistake that for being selfish or arrogant, whatever way you want to put it. But if you're not really tapped into what you're doing you're really not in control and that's just any aspect of your life you want to really have a focused mindset and be single-minded about what you're doing make your own little path and just go on that you know you see a lot a lot of changes within the body and yourself and your mindset make sure you stretch at the bottom bro exactly. let the weight hang there you go you gotta go yep. from the dead hang yeah i did these this morning <laughs> i'm not used to these i do mine's a little different though I do a 15 second rest and I start at 6 and I go up. I go from 6 to 10. You gotta make sure you get that. You wanna go in like an arcy movement. Arcy movement. Yeah, get that full stretch. I'm doing my rare delts, crazy, and my lats. I, I, I thought I wasn't gonna feel it. I, pre I, thought, I really thought I wasn't gonna feel it. See, he do his different from mine too. He go across the body. Yeah, he go, yeah. I'm, I know, I'm going like this, so I gotta go here. You could do it like that, or you could do extend it back. Learning. So Learning. there's a few ways to skin this cat. <laughs> so remember, this movement can yeah. be done in so many different forms. You could be either from here, you could be either from the chair, you could either be here, you could either be here. Woo! Now that one look crazy. You could be either here. That one look crazy. Or you can take the chair. Oh, God. Oh, this is like the beginner. I got you. That's the beginners, guys. Feel me? Make sure if you're a beginner, do not touch that 80 pounds. That way, more stabilized. It's a little bit of cheating, but 
you know, he gets the work done. There you go. Shot to my back just now. I don't know what the fuck just happened. New back, new muscles. Let's go. My fault, my fault. Oh gosh, see? This is why I love this guy though. No homo, cuz. I ain't never seen an exercise like this before in my life. Where I start from right here, look at right here. Alright, so you're a little bit you go there. forward now. Grab the weight. Yo, it's a 40 and a 45, bro. This guy is crazy. Give me two 40s, man. Oh, man. You think I'm strong? Alright. Everything's hey, hey, bring it more. Squeeze, no, squeeze up. Squeeze up. There you go. You get that. Good. Control it. Bring it to the side. Good. Good. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I don't know how much reps I did. I have to stop. Yes. Body says alright. I gotta see that again. I wasn't paying attention. I don't pay attention this time, bro. I think I'm wildin'. This is a new back, bro. I feel like I'm getting a new back right now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Shit, I was trying to do something else. I was trying to like that. Yeah. All right. Let's go, King. Let's go. A whole new back, bro. A whole new back. This new back. Three sets, three sets, uh, 15 reps. Working set. That's right. Nice. Nice. Close that gap. Good. Once you close that gap. Good. There you go. Close it. Good. Nice. Nice. Remember, even with these, you don't need to go heavy. You could go super light and get the same move, same effect, effectivity with the movement because there's control. Once you got that control, you're gonna get the pump, increase the rep range. You're gonna get the same, same momentum, same bar. So let me get my last set. So I can't lift with you, bro. This shit got me feeling crazy or something. What is going on? I ain't gonna front. This shit is different. I have to give my props and you know what I mean? I bet he talk right now, man. I give credit where credit is due. All right, lots. Not, not a lot of weight exercises is challenging for me. Man, this should kill my last, son. I'm really shocked. I am shocked. Ooh. Let's go. I might have to add this one to my back routine one day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the fuck is this? Because I do this, the one you go under. Yeah. Yeah. This is different because it's, it's not just hitting the upper. You hit the mid you and the upper. the mid, the upper, and also the traps. And lower lats going down. Good. So this, this is like a full, full back, back, back workout, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to add this to that workout with this exercise. My traps feel crazy, shoulders. Damn. Let's get the roll. Whatever you 
you got, bro? We here. We there. We everywhere. No fear. Thank you. Some 145, 140 or some shit like that. Man, I wait, heavy. Why you went heavy for? This is my starting set. That's your starting set. How many reps? 12 to 15. 12 to 15. Every single thing, 12 to 15 hypertrophy. This man is trying to. Look at the back. Look at the back. New back. Shit, man. After this, you gotta do a muscle up. <laughs> I want to see if you can do a muscle up. Yeah, I challenge you a to time. one, just one muscle up. Let's go. For me, I see if it all, what he was saying, the response. You know what I'm saying? Boom, dude. Let's go. Like that? Yep, all the way in. So, sometimes I like keeping the thumbs up because it's more forward. See the difference? The elbows comes a lot more down and in line. Sheesh. Mad biceps right there, man. Mad biceps. Sheesh. Damn. He got every vein in his backpack now. All the veins. Look at them shits. He got a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's going. He's about to go to school. <laughs> Got a backpack. He just came from school, huh, bro? <laughs> so three, two to three sets. Each of these exercises. Three. Why? Why? Why three sets? It depends. Because today is like depends on how you ate. So I only had like three meals today. So I'm not trying to burn a lot of calories. So. I keep the sets less and the reps higher. But if I had a lot of food, I'll keep the sets a lot more, like five to six sets, where any rep range is from eight to 10. But since today I only had three meals, I'm not gonna burn too much calories. You know, I might probably like two, 195 to 205. Um, I'm trying to maintain a certain weight, so yeah. Keep it like that. That way I'm not very Yo, he ain't saying nothing, but he went heavy. I didn't even know he went heavy on that shit. I'm pulling on this shit like, why does this shit feel like this? It's heavier. What the hell? He went heavier again. I guess this is the last set. Yeah. Fuck it. I ain't mad. It's the last set. It's annoying though. <laughs> this is a cool pump though. But I, only, I feel it crazy in my lats. I guess if you want to target specific muscles, then you should probably wait later. Because then you target those specific muscles. So another thing is like true growth comes from really focusing on one muscle group at a time. So if you're doing back, only do back. Don't mix it up because what happens when you're doing that sometimes, you're putting blood every single way in the body and it's not being stayed in. You're pumping the legs. Then going to the chest. If you're doing a full body day once a week, fine. But if you want to grow and regain some strength, always give major muscle groups a break. Give your chest a break. Give your legs a break. Give your back a break. That way you're able to grow, heal, eat, and replenish yourself. Yeah, That's you don't, the only way you grow. Yeah, you don't grow while you're working out. You grow when you rest. Which includes stretching, proper diet, enough sleep, especially sleep. A lot of times people underestimate sleep. You gotta sleep at least six to eight hours. Eight hours to me is too much for me, but six to seven hours is perfect for my body. Six hours is the least that I would want, plus a nap in the afternoon, at least one hour, 45 minutes to an hour nap, guys. We used to take naps as kids. I'm not sure why we're not taking naps as adults. Why, we, why do we forget this? We good, huh? I mean, yeah, of course you're right. Muscle up. 
motherfucker. Just one. I just want to see one. See if the king still got it. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Because I know after all that lap, boy. Yeah. She. Can you still muscle up? Can you? Can you, king? No, no, come over here. The light is way better over here. Not even too fast. This is all Hold you up, know. Let's do it here. Let's do it here. Yeah. Do it here. This is all you know, right? If you're really, really in control, right? So I'm gonna attempt a pull up with only two fingers. Now he's wilding. Let's go. Let's go. I still want the muscle up though. That's two fingers. Crazy. I gotta try to figure it out though. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, clean! Hold up, that's not clean. That was clean, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? I asked for one, he's still winning, he's still going. That's what happens, guys. You just work hard. I asked for one, look what he did. That's, I've been doing most of it for like two Let's years. Go, bro. <laughs> two years? That's crazy. Sheesh. I never tried that. Wow. Yes, sir. That's true control. You got to tell yourself oh, that shit. before doing it. Because you can mess around and pop it. Tell yourself you can. If you're not mentally tapped yeah, into that two, level, that two shit. you won't go to that next best you. You got to tap it. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Yeah, he got all the callus in the world. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, just the, the, the grip strength with just that the, you know, one finger on each hand. It's crazy. Shout out to my brother from another mother, King Fitness, a.k.a. Jesse in the building. Of course, bro. Thank you for the knowledge. Of course. The wisdom. So. Always spreading that, that, feel me, that knowledge. Always spreading that love. Always spreading this nature because it's contagious. It's energy. We super seeing what you know. If you don't know, now you know. What's up, fuck? What's your page so they can follow you, bro? My, well, my page is the official underscore King Fitness. Once again, that's the official underscore King Fitness. I believe that every single man is a king. Every woman is a queen. Uh, the Especially reason why I black. represent myself as a king <laughs> is because a king demonstrates leadership, right? That's a fact. So anything you do, you approach it with confidence. But one thing that a lot of people miss, miss it, misinterpret at times is that a king is also willing to listen. So I'm super humble about learning new things from him, from Brawley, from, from yourself, from everyone out there. Always, you know, try to bring down, sometimes even when you think you know a lot, just bring it on a little bit, pay attention, and I'm telling you, you will learn a lot more when you're like that, you know, and it's, 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 it's a better way of living too. You regain a lot of peace within yourself, you achieve a lot more within your workout life, your physical life, your health what what? Love life. Love you mean a love life too, you know? Especially. So remember guys, find that peace. Also find so find out what makes you you and just follow that. You know, never try to be someone else or try to compare yourself. Start at your level, like I said, start at beginning stage. Keep failing, keep failing, keep trying, keep trying. That's gonna get the results. Yo guys, I'm living proof right here of what he's saying because I don't like lifting weights. I don't like a deadlift. I don't like applying that. A lot of these exercises that we did today, but I'm humble enough to see my brother right here and know that that's his journey and he has knowledge. So I'm not gonna say, you know, bro, I don't wanna hear that shit because I don't wanna do it. I have muscles already. There's always more knowledge to gain. So I'm always open to hearing it. And if it does, if it sounds good and it affects my body like how it does today, I'll, I'll, I'll try it out. I'll adapt it to my routine. God knows, let's see what's gonna happen in two weeks. <laughs> Yo guys, make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash 
um, every and every, X smash every single thing that's positive, especially this type of energy, man. Yeah. Subscribe to that. This shit is contagious. And of course, subscribe to my brother. My brother from another mother. You feel me? If you don't understand, now you understand. And if you're not a man, learn from this video to be a man. You feel me? Consistency, hard work, it beats talent. Consistency, hard work beats every single every single thing that's in the books. Feel me? It it, it, it straight results and success. So guys, follow my brother. The link to his page will be in the description. You already know who I am. If you want to subscribe to this page? I would love it if you did that. If you like the shorts and you like the gear and shit like that, please go to justsaying.com. And of course, put in the code LEGEND and you get your 15% off, you feel me? Program dropping soon, guys. I hope y'all ready for the change. Shout out to my brother, Dre, too. Fucking yeah, 390 pounds, now 297 pounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cameraman, he's Word. dope. Good Shout energy. out to the good cameraman, guys. too. Big facts. Yeah, like, real, real good energy, bro. Word. He's super focused, too, I could tell. <laughs> Y'all talking. Word. Hit him up for your videos. Let's go. <laughs> Prime Vision, that's his yeah, um, yeah. Um, 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 page as well, guys. Please, of course, if you subscribe to me, you subscribe to my brothers and all the energy that we have. Right. You know I me? Mean? Let's go. Always and forever. Science profession is always. Ah! Woo! I am the answer to all living things that cry out for peace. I am protector of the innocent. I am the light in the darkness. I am truth.